Happy Wednesday morning, Mountaineer fans. It's Chris. It's Mike. It's earsports.com taking up three minutes of your morning to talk about video games. That's right. NCAA College Football 2025 is coming out this summer. They just released another trailer for it and the cover art, which brought up a couple questions from our members, including from Rebels 52, asking about how do you think WVU will fare in the player rankings? Let's let's expound on that and start with who do you think are going to be a couple of the highest rated players on this team to start there, Mike? Well, first, I want to field a question from um, Abracazaza. I don't know who that is, but would 24-7 expense a PlayStation 5? Oh, that's a good question, Chris. You, you just wait. I got ideas, and the, okay. the whole gaming setup is going to be expensed. Just wait. <laughs> this, this is a cool question because everybody always wonders how much they pay attention to their team, and West Virginia is not without marquee talent. So the one I would look at would be how good is Wyatt Milam? Because I think he could cherry pick some offensive players, you know, Jaheim White, Garrett Green, maybe even Traylon Ray, and say, yeah, they're going to get the the obvious and immediate attention from the evaluators. But the best player in the offense is probably going to be Wyatt Milam. The best pro prospect on the roster is probably going to be Wyatt Milam. How how accurate and how much time they spend on him? And if I if I feel like there's good pass blocking or or um, strength or whatever metrics they use, like those 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 rating bars for for the left tackle. If they get that right, then you probably feel they did a pretty good job getting the doing their homework on West Virginia. And then from there, you know, I want to see like what they have for break tackle for uh, C.J. Donaldson for acceleration for Jaheim White, and then just how do they evaluate the defensive backfield? Because I might be learning a thing or two from the player ratings about Garnett Hollis or Jaheim Joseph or Aiden Garns or TJ Crandall, just those guys, because I don't know a whole lot about them right now, but if they did a lot of work on Wyatt Milam or they got the specs right and some of the offensive players that we know, then I can probably trust and maybe even learn a little bit more about what they say about those defensive backs. Yeah, Madden spends a lot of time, has a whole crew that tries to determine all those individual attributes that eventually make up the overall rankings. Curious how how much effort they'll put into that for this college football game. But one, one last one for you, Mike, are you building a dynasty with WVU in this game? Or are you using somebody else? I'm going to go like very different. Um, like I like to do the thing that everybody probably did when I was a kid, I was always trying to take the Cinderella to the ball and then slowly build up a program. And Chris, it's just the old Patriot in me, but getting that army team in the playoff, with their triple option, winning the winning the uh the cup against all the other service academies and beating Navy in that last game to punch your ticket. Oh man, I get a little nostalgic thinking about it. But uh that, that game at the end of the year, they're everything on the line and you're running triple option and the final score is 13 to 7 because you've built a stout defensive line to just beat that one opponent at the end of the season. That's still too much for me to pass up. <laughs> 